Sharon Wafa. Welcome to Churchill United Methodist Church. Each Sunday, I have the privilege of updating our congregation on outreach ministries we offer and updating you on opportunities for service, worship, and faith building. As we've been under this stay-at-home order, many of our usual activities and worship services have been canceled. We're grateful that Pastor Ken has remained available if you have questions or concerns. You can reach him by phone or email. Each Sunday for several weeks, Pastor Ken has led us in worship with a message on Facebook. Deanna Salifka has been holding regular meetings with youth via Zoom and other computer-based virtual sites. Terry West sent out a packet with activities for our children for Easter week. I was in Aldi's recently, and a person who checked me out told me how much it meant to her children to receive that Easter packet from Miss Terry and to know that our church was thinking of them. We're continuing our monthly food pantry using a drive through method with a very limited number of volunteers to keep guidelines given by our governor and Second Harvest Food Bank. Our greatest challenge with the pantry is assuring we have enough food product each month. With great demand, our food bank has been striving to provide enough food for the hungry in our community. We were granted $1,000 from the United Methodist Foundation in North Canton for our April pantry, and another $1,000 came from the Mahoney Valley District, a grant that we had applied for, and that's here for our main pantry. We're blessed to have financial support for our pantry from many sources. We pray that we can continue to get enough food for our families and keep our volunteers safe as we prepare for distributions. We appreciate the effort that Tina Gertis made to create an outreach to all of our church members. She invited 25 people to be part of a team that weekly either calls or sends personal notes in the mail to our congregation. Everyone she asked said yes, and that outreach to each of you has been ongoing for several weeks and will continue. If you're not receiving a call or a note in the mail and you'd like to be on our list, please call the church office and leave your name, phone number, and a mailing address so we can include you in our weekly contact list. We hope to offer encouraging words to one another and to offer to pray with you and for you if you have prayer requests. We're making an effort to create a worship experience by using video. We hope to expand the use of video experiences, perhaps with Bible study, activities for children. Pray for this process so that we can continue to offer you ways to continue to grow in your faith and to lift your spirits. I know you've prayed like you've never prayed before as we face many daily challenges. God hears each and every prayer, and he promises his strength and his love. I hope you have the chance to share that love with your family, your neighbors, and your friends. Let's continue to pray for frontline workers in our health and medical facilities, as well as police, fire, and safety officers. Our workers in stores and businesses that are essential for our daily life need our prayers as well. We pray for a safe return to work for many who have been laid off in recent weeks. If you do have a prayer request or a need, please reach out to our church office by phone or email. You may contact a friend in the congregation and express your need, and I know we will continue to care for one another and to grow stronger in our love for one another. Christ has shown us how to love in all circumstances, and we can follow that example. Thank you for helping to keep us safe and do all that you can to care for each other. I wonder how I